Welcome back to the Retro Sports Gamer channel. This is Joseph Moore, aka Green Magic. I'm recording a video uh, featuring NBA Jam Tournament Edition for the Super Nintendo. Just a little informational video uh, that shows an injury carryover or a bug in the game NBA Jam Tournament Edition on Super Nintendo. And this is primarily of use to know for people that are thinking of. Um, having this game in a tournament, which I hope uh, a lot of people do in the future, and uh, specifically I'm thinking of Halifax from King of 94, because uh, he's helping organize a tournament of NBA Jam Tournament Edition on Super Nintendo in Toronto uh, in uh, this coming September. So, um, <clears throat> what I did is I just played a game. As the Miami Heat, um, I chose the duo Miner and Smith because they're the duo in the game with the lowest power, and that made it easier to uh, rack up the max injuries, which is 25. So I uh, just played this game, and um, if I go into a new game, then those injuries should reset, obviously, because it's a new game, but uh, I'm going to show that it doesn't. Uh, so I'm going to get out of this game. Woo! It really put the beat down on me, but I was just trying to crew injuries. Uh, so first I'm going to show that uh, in the settings, uh, I do have the tournament mode on, as you would want in a live tournament, um, which turns the computer assistance off. And tag mode is on. Uh, I am going to speed up the timer speed uh, just so that we get through this quarter quicker. Um, so I'm going to start a new game. Uh, not going to do the initials uh, just like if we were doing a real tournament game. Um, so I'm going to go back into the heat, I'm going to be that same duo, uh, Miner and Smith. <coughs> Showtime. And the injuries should have reset because this is a new game, but I'm going to show that they didn't. Matchup, the heat versus and you'll be able to see right off the bat that uh, players are a little bit slower. I'm actually going to try to... Uh, See, it, it doesn't look crazy slow, but if you compare it to uh, how Milwaukee is able to get around, um, I'm actually going to try to not accrue any injuries this quarter, uh, just so that I can show, and there we go, just so I can show um, that there are quite a few uh, injuries that carry over. So I'm just going to get the ball and kind of play keep away. See him super slow. Up. Yeah. Actually, kind of hard to uh, avoid the defenders because I am so slow. Minor, 25 injuries, taking it to the Bucks. At the buzzer. Woo! He's on fire. So as you can see, you can make shots with injuries, but it's not advisable. So I should have maybe one injury with Minor, maybe a couple with Smith. And as you can see, uh, I got 18 and 15. So basically, even at the start of the game, um, 
the computer hit me with some injuries that I didn't earn in this game. Uh, I'm not quite sure why that is, but it's definitely something uh, that happens in the game. Um, as far as I know, it only happens when you use the same team consecutively. Um, but that, that's something that could happen in a, in a tournament. Especially as you get uh, further uh, deeper in the tournament, um, people are going to want to be those high-powered teams from Tier 1, and you definitely don't want a team starting the game with a disadvantage. So um, we're going to go ahead and quit this game, and I'm going to give a, a reset, and uh, I'm going to show that that's, that's a quick fix, that that um, refreshes the injuries. And we're going to be the Heat. And everything should be hunky dory. It's going to be that same squad. Miner and Smith. Showtime! I'm going to try to play this quarter quickly. And um, just show that those. Injuries are all wiped out. As you can see, I'm nice and fast. Definitely, especially with a team like the Heat, where the speed is... They have a little power. Um, speed is kind of their, their offense. So a huge disadvantage if they start the game... Uh, with some injuries. Yeah. Trying to not accrue any injuries here with Harold. Harold, I think he's a nine on speed, so he he should be whipping around like that to start the game. Steve Smith doing work. There's that quick quarter. You can see I was uh, a lot faster than the quarter I just played. Should have next to no injuries with Harold Miner and maybe just a couple with Steve Smith. And there you have it. No injuries for either guy. Um, a little surprised Smith didn't accrue any. Um, given that Coleman does have that high power. But anyway, as you can see, uh, a reset is necessary to uh, refresh the rosters in between games uh, if you are playing as the same team. Uh, so that's just good to know if you are running a tournament. Um, hope to see more of those in the future. Um, Try to keep the video short. Just wanted to show the, the facts on this and um, you yeah, know, hopefully just doing a, a reset in between matches will be a kind of a easy way to go through doing the tournament and making it fair and um, just making sure that this small little bug of the game uh, isn't a factor and give anyone a competitive disadvantage or advantage. So anyway, there's the video and uh, thanks for watching.